there is a very strong likelihood that you already like this game or you will like this game if you play it. It's a game that has a lot of its DNA in likability. There's a lot to like about it. But is it the best one for beginners? Well, that's what we're here to find out. So first, the pros. I think this is probably the best offline VR sim racing game you can play. It runs so well in VR and it's easy to just adjust if it's not running well for you. There's plenty of tutorials online. I find games like R Factor and Auto and not Automobile, so that's what we're talking about. ACC don't run in VR at all. Assetto Corsa doesn't run well in VR sometimes, depending on the mods you use, but AMS2 out of the box in VR works fantastic. So if you want to try sim racing in VR because you're a beginner, you want to see what that experience is like, Project Cars 2 is a choice, but you can't get that on Steam anymore. Easiest choice by far, AMS2 for VR. And I love in this game all the variety of car choices from a GT cars, classic cars, but especially if you are an open wheel fan. They have classic F1 cars, classic Indy cars, modern F1 cars, modern Indy cars. It is a treasure trove for open wheel racing in whatever era you think is its prime. And this is the game that made me realize I love driving early 2000s F1 cars. Those are just so fun to drive, especially the ones with traction control because they're just easy if you just want to sit down and go for a quick drive. So as a beginner, you'll learn what cars you love to drive by trying AMS too because there's so many choices. And speaking of driving, it's very easy to get a setup. You just go into time trial mode, you can get that person set up. And this is the only game where I've really spent time doing time trials and trying to pass people and move my way up the leaderboard because the time trials here are just set up in a nice, simple way. Whenever you load into a track, you see what the top time is and you're like, well, how close can I get to that? And you can get their, um, you can get their setup, you can try it, you can see how close you can get. And, you know, time trials are the best way to learn a car for a beginner. The gameplay is very exciting and drama filled. I don't know what they did, but it seems like every crash is enhanced, every tire squeal is enhanced sound wise. And you just feel the side by side racing with the AI is very intense. It just feels like you're on the edge. Maybe because it's handling, which is criticized for being unrealistic, does have a lot of sliding that you can't control so you feel on the edge. But as a beginner, you won't realize that, you know, that might not be realistic. You'll just be having a hell of a time. And as someone who wants you to get into sim racing, having fun is the number one thing. You should have fun first before you figure out if is this realistic, is the AI realistic, and you will have fun playing this game. Something about how it's set up is super fun to drive. But probably one of the biggest things, and I hesitated to put this in the pro section, the positives, because it's a mod, is the My Racing Life Career Mode mod. And usually I don't want to recommend mods because mods are not beginner friendly, but this one is just so simple and easy. You're not modding into the game. It's an external application and it gives you just a flow to do a career mode to just make it so much more engaging. Like I said in the Project Cars 2 video, a career mode is just so useful for beginners to know where to start or else you're just going to be overwhelmed by choice and this one has financial management, it has different championships, different routes you can take on how you want to take your career. Maybe I'll even play it on this channel, let me know if you want to see it, but I think this racing life career mode is probably the biggest thing to make this game great for newcomers. Going on to the cons, I am personally not satisfied with the base game track selection, even the track selection with DLC, because when I like racing online a lot, I think there's something really thrilling about racing online. And I wanted to race road races on games like iRacing, Le Mans Ultimate, ACC. And so I thought, well, the biggest barrier for me racing online is learning tracks super intimidating for me to learn tracks that's something i'm just going to be genuine and admit it's it's it seems like a chore to me and it intimidates me a lot and so i decided you know what might be fun doing an offline season in vr 
in AMS2 to learn the top tracks that I see in a lot of these sim racing games in ACC, in iRacing and whatnot. And so I went to start doing that and I noticed so many of the tracks I wanted to add weren't available and I was pretty surprised and a little disappointed so I never ended up doing that. And so the track selection leaves me a little bit leaves my heart wanting more and if you just buy the base game it's definitely going to leave you wanting more because there's a lot of tracks that are locked behind dlc unfortunately a lot of the great tracks that you would expect to have and the reason i mentioned other games for playing online and not this one is because the this game's online isn't great in modern day sim racing, to have a structure with daily races, weekly races is just the way to go. It brings the community together to race certain races and just makes it a lot more competitive and fun. But AMS2 has more of an open lobby structure. It's more old school. And I think that's really holding it back and makes it confusing and intimidating for a beginner sim racer as well. So because of all those factors, there's so much good with this game, but it is lacking a good amount. I would have to say if you're a beginner sim racer, get this game on sale. Wait for a sale unless you're only going to sim race in VR. If you're wanting to be a VR sim racing enthusiast, get this right away. It's the best choice for a VR sim racer, at least in my opinion. So if you're in VR, get this, but everyone else, I think you can wait till a sale. And if you're a beginner and you want to learn more about what sim racing games are best for beginners, you can click the playlist on the screen. Thanks for watching.